today I'm going to run a marathon on a running track, 400 metre track. If you wonder how many laps that is, it's 105.5. A half is very important. <laughs> well, I think I'll probably do 106, because who stops at half a lap? You might as well do the rest of it. Um, <laughs> not sure how I feel about this one. This could be the most boring uh, run that I've ever done in my life. Or maybe I'll reach spiritual enlightenment. <laughs> Uh, or go mental. <laughs> I think I think it might be the mental part. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Twenty brave souls had signed up for the race. I don't think any of us expected it to be so warm and sunny in March. It was like a summer's day. The track looked good. It was soft and springy and really nice to run on. I didn't have to count my own laps. There was a TV screen set up that displayed my lap count at the end of every lap, which was good because I think I lost count after three. I did a warm-up lap to see what the track was like, which technically means I've done 106.5 laps, which is an ultramarathon. I checked my watch to see what it suggested for today, and it thought a 10k would be enough. Everyone gathered at the 300 meter point to start the race, so we could do the half lap first. Keep an eye on the man in blue, he went on to win the race. The first three laps a little bit too quick. My aim was two minutes a lap, but I was doing one minute 50. The race was split 50-50 between male and female runners. It's fair to say most of them were older runners, but there was a handful under the age of 40. One man was taking part in his 296th marathon. 12 laps done. Feeling okay. It's not boring so far. The key to my race strategy was running as close to the inner line as possible. The further out I ran, the longer each lap would be. I wanted to run the shortest distance possible. Well, lap 16, I just looked at the timer. I was already a man on lap 23. The only bit of wind is on the home straight. That's an hour done. I'll grab a snack. Nearly the halfway point. Oh, I'm starting to feel a little bit my back's a little bit sore. I'm like starting to tire. I'll keep on going. Looks like it's going to cloud over. Forecast was for rain, so hopefully it comes. Oh, that's the halfway point. This is always the awful bit. You start thinking, I'm going to do it all again. Try and go 60 and take a break. People asked what I thought about as I ran each lap. The night before the race, I'd watched the Jake Gyllenhaal film Roadhouse. I spent the first two hours thinking about all the ways that film sucked. It was a terrible film. Don't watch it. 40 laps to go. I will take my first walk around the track. Just like to have some juice and some salt. And I feel better for taking some. Oh, it's all to go though. Passed by the winner again. I've done 66 laps. And the guy just passed me. He's done 96. Oh, must feel good to have so little to go. It wasn't long before the winner was on his last lap. I think he finished in 2 hours 40 minutes. The winner of the race just passed, so that's me at mile 18.3 and he's finished. And I'm having a walk so I can have some juice. Oh, 79 laps done. But I'm feeling it now. My legs are sore. My lower back's a little bit sore. Lord. It's not rained yet. I'm looking forward to the rain. Carol's in 90, 15 to go, David 73, 115 laps for Grant Jeans, Ian Todd's at 81. 
I was definitely starting to feel more sore and more tired at this point. Um, I was taking regular stops and helping myself to whatever was in my nice bucket of food. 90 laps. Sun's still out. Definitely feeling sore. I'm doing a sort of two or three laps running. One lap, one lap walking stretch, you know. Oh, I think I was trying to get in just under four hours, 15. I'm quite happy with that. Hundred laps done, and according to my watch, I've done a marathon. <laughs> so I've stopped. I'll walk some of the last five miles, or sorry, last five five laps. I uh, got in four hours, fourteen minutes. That's more. Four hundred meter track must have been slightly longer than four hundred meters, as I completed my marathon a bit early. But I still did the rest of the laps. This is hard work. I think I've got three laps to go. <laughs> Just about all done. I can't muster the energy for some good finish, so I'm not going to bother. <laughs> Final straight. Well, sprint. <laughs> I managed to run the last 100 meters, which I think means I finished in just under 4 hours 30 minutes. I just matched this race. I've got to carry my own box back to the car. I should finish up by just saying that was an excellent race and I really enjoyed it. If you've not done track before, I thoroughly recommend it. It's a mental as well as physical challenge. And. That's about as far as I can bend my legs. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting up or down stairs tomorrow. It's the day after the race, and I can honestly say my legs are really, really, really sore. Aren't they Heath? He's just woken up. Um, I'm currently at Krispy Kreme, and I plan to eat everything that's here. <laughs>